Hi everyone, welcome to Comet Computer Private Limited e-learning program of uh, Azure uh, Public Cloud Training. Myself, Ilan Chirian, Technical Director at Comet Computer Private Limited. In this video, we will see how to uh, configure a static IP for the virtual machines. Uh, in this demonstration, we will see how to configure the uh, public IP as a static IP as well as uh, we will see how to configure the private IP as a static IP. We will move on to the practical demonstration. So uh, for changing the public uh, IP, uh, dynamic IP as a static IP, you have uh, two options. One is you can go to the uh, services under all services under networking we can find a public IP addresses so here you can uh, see the list of public IP addresses available so currently I have only one virtual machine so that uh, I'm able to see only one public IP just press on that public IP address and then uh, under settings select configuration and you can notice here by default the assignment is dynamic and uh, if required we can change it to static but this configuration if uh, we have only few virtual machines it will be easy for you to identify the virtual machine under the uh, virtual machines public IP address under this public IP addresses but if, I, if we have some hundreds of virtual machines or thousands of virtual machine it will be hard to find the uh, exact uh, public IP address of your virtual machine so in that case what you can do is you can just go to the virtual machine so the steps are same for the windows virtual machine as well as the linux virtual machine so go to the respective virtual machine to which you want to configure a static ip and uh, in the overview you can find the uh, public ip addresses so here you can see the public ip of the virtual machine just click on the public ip so it will take you to the configuration of the public IP address. So it will be easy for you to identify the virtual machines public IP and configure it. And also uh, right now it is dynamic. I can change it to static. And also uh, here we get a, a warning message that the associated virtual machine may reboot it. So it is not sure that uh, I, I want to just check whether the virtual machine is uh, getting rebooted or not. So I'll just... Uh, log on to the virtual Fine. So now we have logged into the virtual machine and we can just press save. So uh, since this is a warning that the virtual machine may be rebooted, so it is not that surely it will reboot. So just uh, for the understanding purpose, we will uh, check what happened. So currently the virtual machine is connected and I'll just press save. So it'll, it'll take a, a moment. Yeah, it's done. All the configurations are done. So now you can see we have the same uh, public IP available. So earlier, uh, this was not a, a feature of Azure. Earlier, if you uh, change the public IP from dynamic IP to static IP, so most of the cases, the public IP may change. But uh, nowadays, the uh, Azure has uh, enhanced a feature that uh, you can retain the existing dynamic IP as a public IP. And also you can see the virtual machine is still connected. So the warning message, it is just a warning message. So it is to uh, keep you aware about the things. So uh, it is not that 100% every time it will not get disconnected. But most of the cases, the virtual machine will not get disconnected. 
but uh, uh, in your production environment uh, if if you are uh, making these changes uh, for the live machines or the production machines so always uh, take your downtime and then perform these kind of changes so don't uh, do this in the uh, live machine which is in the production and also the other configuration we can set here is the ideal timeout so if the session is not uh, interactive for uh, more than 4 minutes automatically the session will get uh, uh, timed out so after that uh, you need to reconnect again and also we have one more option we can uh, uh, we can configure a, a dns name that is a host name for this ip so instead of accessing the virtual machine using the uh, public ip you can access the virtual machine with the a dns name also i'll just uh, try to give a name vm01 uh, I probably I don't think this name will be available so this name is not available in the prefix I will give a name comet might be this name might be available yeah so this name is available so this virtual machine I can access with this name comet vm01 dot east us dot cloud app dot azure dot net so it will be easy for uh, for uh, the support professionals or the uh, organization employees to uh, identify the name easily and even uh, you have a, a domain purchased uh, you can also create alias record so for right now i don't want to use this alias record i'll just uh, press save so we'll just try to access the virtual machine using this name Yeah, so earlier this machine is connected. I'm just uh, disconnecting the virtual machines to more desktop connection. Comet VM01 dot east us dot cloud app dot azure dot com. I'm using the DNS name of this public IP. <coughs> Yeah, it asks for the credential. So it means that the name is getting resolved and uh, the virtual mission is accessible. yeah so got connected so this is how we can configure the uh, st static ip for your uh, public ip address and also you can configure the dns name for the public ip and the next configuration i want to show you is uh, uh, configuring the uh, static ip address for the private ip for the same virtual machine vm01 so we already know that the virtual machine gets a dynamic IP that is the internal IP is also a dynamic IP so later if I want to change the configuration so you can see here this virtual machine network settings is it is connected with the network interface VM01321 if you want to make any changes to, to this network interface you can go to the network interfaces under networking you can find network interfaces so again you should know the exact name of your network interface since right now we have only one network interface it will be easy for you to identify and uh, do the configurations since if you have some hundreds of virtual machines it will be hard for you to identify the uh, virtual machines uh, network interface in that case go to the virtual machine network setting and here you can find the network interface name you can just press on that so it will take you to this location so where you can also find under setting you can find IP configurations so here you can see IP configuration it has 
uh, configured with the private IP address and public IP address. If you want to make any changes to this IP address, just press here. It will take you to the IP configuration wizard. And from here, you can find the uh, IP assignment that is the private IP address. It is dynamic and you can also make it to static. So you can either use the uh, same IP address as a static IP address or if required you can also make changes to this so that uh, this IP will be the new private IP for the virtual machine. So the changes you can make as per your requirement then press save. We will check this. So till now it has 11.0.4 once this configuration is saved after that uh, we can find the new IP address for the virtual machine It will take uh, a few more seconds to complete this. So the network uh, configuration has been saved. Now we'll verify the change in the virtual machine. And also here now we can see since we have changed the internal IP address, the virtual machine got disconnected. We'll connect again. So in production environment, uh, as I said earlier, before uh, changing this uh, network related configuration, it is always recommended uh, for you to take a downtime and then perform. Um, even uh, if you're changing the internal IP uh, from dynamic to static and you're retaining the same IP address, in that case, no issue. Since we have changed the internal IP address in that case, so the network uh, interruption is going to happen because uh, since the network uh, uh, that is the IP address uh, which already we were uh, using was uh, removed and a new IP was added so definitely this will uh, uh, create a downtime once again we'll check the IP address of the virtual machine yeah so now the virtual machine got a new IP so this is how we can manage the uh, dynamic IP and the static IP uh, for your uh, internal IP as well as the uh, public IP. And uh, that's all for the video. <clears throat> and uh, in the next video, we'll discuss the further topics. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.